I think this is a, a situation pretty well without parallel. Uh, British politics and economics is convulsed from time to time, as many countries are, sometimes by an economic crisis. There have been a number of sterling crises in Britain over the years, economic crises for sure, and sometimes political crises. But the two coming together, where a political crisis effectively causes an economic one, which then government has to try to bail itself out from, I think it's pretty well without parallel. It looks as if the immediate crisis caused by uh, Kwasi Kwarteng, that's the UK finance minister's uh, budget of a couple of weeks ago, is finally coming to an end by a new chancellor taking over and effectively reversing it all. But the damage done to the Conservative Party, and particularly to Liz Truss, is profound. And in the end, she's got to go to Prime Minister's question time later this week. Her own backbenchers now risk oblivion at the next election. And, you know, this can only hold for a short time longer, I suspect. Uh, having seen uh, a bit of her in, in the House of Commons, where she arrived late this afternoon to listen to the Chancellor's statement, uh, she was very still, impassive, immobile, really, uh, not able to react in any way. And, you know, it, it, I think the challenge, though, for any British politician, particularly a Prime Minister, is you've got to be able to perform in the House of Commons. People sitting behind her were, so, were quiet. Her own front bench of ministers were quiet. And that's not great. The opposition's fired up. The government looks terribly, terribly worried. Well, uh, William Hague, former Conservative leader, never Prime Minister, but leading commentator now, describes uh, Liz Truss as Prime Minister as hanging by a thread. I think the trouble is the thread's getting weaker, not stronger, as the hours pass. And her MPs will have to absolute nerves of steel because they're facing electoral oblivion if they don't change her or something else turns up. Potatoes,